on on the matter of the of the of the color and the importance of a rebrand um, you know, there's something about it psychologically that does make a difference. You know, we are rebuilding. I mean, we have a lot of work to do. And there's been things that have not been done properly here. We want to correct those. We want to, you know, execute on what our plan is. And this kind of ties in nicely with it. Kind right. of a fresh start as far as that goes. Uh, there's, there's a plan. It's a way of respecting the past but also moving forward in a new direction. It's the threads of change, if you will. I want to get into, I guess, the most important topic right off the bat. Burnt Orange is back, baby. It's the new era of orange. There's things that we can do to get ourselves back in the conversation. When we get there, we want to be there for a long time. Yesterday was a big day in the offseason for the Flyers to unveil their new jerseys. Now, they unveiled the new uniforms for the home darks, if you will, and the road lights. And it's a bit of a throwback, in a way, to the burnt orange color. Very cool jerseys, very cool design. I can't wait to see them on the ice. You know me, I'm chomping at the bit for the hockey season to begin. Right? What's up, bro? How are you? All right, let's do it. Good. All right, roll camera. That was sick. The widest I think we have is about here up, maybe here up. Look down. Back to camera. Shift your weight a little bit more. Keep going, keep going, and cut. Yeah, I just want him like flying. Just yeah. flying and yeah. just like these little, yeah. you're catching the helmet, the, the jersey, the right. skates, just these little things, right. you know. Okay, and action. For a sec. I gotta change my graphic now. Though. I could probably get a spray from like the red line. And then, yeah. okay. Crossbar. First off, what are the guys doing on the ice today? Well, they're out there uh, with the new jersey. To see what it looks like over camera and what, what the guys think of them and that type of thing. Obviously, I know we've shot that before, but man, they look good out there, don't they? All right, let's see it. Yeah, I think they're sweet. I mean, obviously, the uh, different color orange is a nice touch, but um, I think it's kind of ties in all the jerseys from uh, the past and present, so I think it's really great. So you can just go just between the, the towards the end of the year, we got a sneak peek on what it was going to look like, but um, I think to put it on for for the first time and, and have it as a full uniform is pretty cool. I just loved him as soon as I saw him because it brought back old school without like calling out a specific era era, if that makes sense. Like we're not just calling out this year or that year, but that, bringing back the burnt orange is absolutely massive in my opinion. Yeah, I like the color. That's why I'm here, I think. It's true, it does match his hair. Sit right here. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, how, how are, are you? Are you? you guys remember Zachary? Yeah, how are you? All right, you just hang out for one Zachary. minute, okay? Right here, right here. Hi, Zachary. Hi. Danny Briere. Nice Hi, to Zachary. meet you. Keith Jones. Hi. Nice to see you, buddy. You too. So we have something news. for you here. We have some good news. Yeah, we'd like to extend your contract with the Philadelphia Flyers. Okay. Are you open to that? Yeah. All right. There's a couple uh, rules you'll have to follow, though, where we're going to go through that. Is that okay? Yeah. And you can help us as we continue to build this team. How's that sound? These are for you, buddy. That's so cool. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Do you have time to go over your contract? Yes. All right, let's sit down. Let's do it. Yeah. You have to proudly lead the Let's Go Flyers chant in Nashville. Can you do that? All right. <laughs> your initials there. 
you'll have to wear your flyer's gear with pride. Yeah. It's a deal. Fourth one is to, you might have to answer some questions from the media. Are you okay with that? Yeah. All right. Make it official. There you go, pal. All right. Congratulations. So we'll see you in Nashville. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Come aboard. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. There he is, Danny Briere, the general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers. And uh, I'm going to take a wild guess here, Danny, that uh, you're probably one of the more popular NHL general managers out there right now. Didn't take you long to, to kind of sink your teeth in as a general manager, making a pretty significant trade, I would say. Okay, it's official, official now. Yes, it's Flyers official are getting me. Walker, who's a defenseman, Peterson, who's a goalie, and then including 22 overall. So that's what they got back for Provorov. It's a good start. It's a, to me, it's a great start. We're trying to get a little younger, you know, and, and obviously when, when you do that and you want to acquire draft capital, you have to pay the price. To go that route, we'd have to lose some, some good players. And thinking about it, uh, it wasn't an easy decision, but Ivan was very important at the time. So that's a player Columbus really wanted and it was important to them. We started negotiating. You know, we felt, we both felt it was a, a fair price. It says a lot about how he is open to new ideas and thoughts, but also very careful in the way that he goes about conducting business. In order to pull off a deal of that magnitude, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, I, I think it really was one of those deals that got people thinking. And I think that's um, you know one of the benefits of showing that you're backing up what you stated, which was we're open for business. Like you said, bringing back the old flyers and, and making it a, uh, make them new again. And the other thing, like I like the fact that they made the announcement, hey, this is rebuild. Yeah. And I also like the fact that the flyer fans have confidence in Daniel Briere and the staff you just mentioned. We're not going to be a soft team to play against. We're not going to be pushovers. You're rebuilding and you're not, you know, at the top of the league. You're not quite the contender that you hope to be. We're still going to play hard. We're still going to compete. We're going to give you everything that, that we have to try to win every single game. Um, it, it's something to me that is non-negotiable in Philadelphia. I mean, this is a very good draft this year, and teams are holding tightly to those first round picks. Now we're at seven and we're at 22, and we are a team that's going to need our first round picks to hit. Now we got to execute on it and make sure that we get it right.